Welcome to a new video. Today we are going to talk about file operations in Python. We are going to cover reading from files, writing to files and some advanced operations like seeking and buffering. I'm going to show the files that we are working on in here. As you can see, we only have an IPMB file which we are going to run our codes on. First, let's create a simple text file that we will be using throughout this tutorial. I will write the code to do that. We will say with open let's say sample text and we are going to use w here which means write as f and we are going to say f write hello world f write this is a sample file f write python is awesome I want this tree to be at the different lines so I'm just going to add this to all of them and I'm just going to run this code. So we should be able to see sample.txt here and when I click that we can see our text here. Alright so what I've done here is use python's built in open function to create a file named sample text. The w flag indicates that I want to write to this file. Then I write a few lines to the file using the write method. The with statement ensures that the file is properly closed after the block is executed. Now that we have a file, let's read from it. How are we are going to do that? We are going to use with open sample text. This time we are going to use r, which represents reading as f. We are going to say content is going to be equal to the file that read. And we are going to print this file content. Let's just use this and we will say content here. Great. Here I opened sample text in read mode. The read mode reads the entire file content into a string, which I then print out. Sometimes you might just want to read a file line by line. Here's how. We are going to use a for loop for that. We are going to say with open sample.text and we are going to open this in reading mode as file for line in file print let's say line and let's use line.strip here I use a for loop to iterate through each line in the file the strip method removes any leading or trailing white spaces or new lines now let's add some more lines to our existing file we will say with open we are going to say sample text and we are going to use a this time as file f write appending a new line and i'm going to run this code and talk about it now but firstly let me show you the file's new version you can see our new line here i made a typo there but it's okay here it is so what this code do is the A flag allows me to append to the file instead of overwriting it. If I use W on there, it was going to delete my previous file and in this way I just appended this, this new line. If you use A like this, this new line should be added at the end of our existing file. Ok, sometimes you want to jump to a specific byte position in a file. This is where C comes in handy. We will say with open sample.txt we are going to open this in reading mode as file we are going to use seek method here and we will say print f tell and we will say print f read 10 here here seek 10 moves the file pointer to the 10th byte tell shows the current position which should be 10 then I read 10 characters from that position. You can just change this as 14 maybe and you're going to see more lines are read and you can just change this for getting a text from different position. Here it is. Okay, at the final step we are going to learn buffering. Let's talk about it. Buffering can speed up file operations. Let's see how. We are going to say with open sample text reading mode but this time we are going to use buffering here as let's say one as file print file.read 
and let's talk about it. Setting buffering equal to 1 means the file will be line buffered. This might improve performance when you're reading large files line by line. That wraps up our tutorial. Hope you found this informative and helpful. Thanks for watching. I'm creating content about data science and programming. You can subscribe for seeing more videos like this. Thanks for watching the video. I'm sharing two or three new videos every week about data science and Python programming. You can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.